Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss what is C-peptide test and what is importance of C-peptide estimation in diabetes mellitus. To download lecture notes and other interesting stuff related to biochemistry, please visit website biochemistrybasics.com. Before going in the detail of what is C-peptide test, first we should know what is C-peptide. So, insulin is secreted from beta cells of pancreas. But first, it is secreted as a pre-proinsulin which has a 109 amino acid and this pre-proinsulin undergoes various post-translational modification. So, pre-proinsulin is converted into the proinsulin which contains 86 amino acid by removal of 23 amino acid by protease enzyme in endoplasmic reticulum. After the removal of this 23 amino acid, this proinsulin is transported to the Golgi body and in the Golgi body, this proinsulin is converted into the insulin which has a 51 amino acid by removal of connecting peptide or C peptide. So this is the picture showing the conversion of proinsulin into the active insulin. This active insulin contains 51 amino acid and it has a two polypeptide chain that is A chain and B chain. A chain has a 21 amino acid and B chain has a 30 amino acid. And in the conversion of this proinsulin to the active insulin, there is a removal of this connecting peptide which is known as a C peptide. Now this C peptide, it doesn't have any biological role. But its estimation in the blood, it serves as a useful index for the endogenous production of insulin as they are formed in equimolar concentration. And the C-peptide is cleared from the circulation slowly as compared to the insulin. So it can be used as a more reliable marker for the endogenous production of insulin as compared to the insulin itself. So that is about what is C-peptide. Now we will see C-peptide estimation. The estimation of C-peptide can be done from the blood as well as from the urine. And the normal level of C-peptide is 0 0.5 to 2 nanogram per ml. And the estimation of C-peptide will be helpful in the differentiating type 1 diabetes mellitus from the type 2 diabetes mellitus. If the C-peptide level is normal or high level, then it indicates type 2 diabetes mellitus. If there is a low or immeasurable value, then it indicates insulin deficiency that is type 1 diabetes mellitus. It gives an accurate estimation of endogenous insulin production. It provides valuable information to differentiate between endogenously synthesized insulin and exogenously administered insulin. It also helps in finding insulin resistance. It also helps to differentiate insulin-induced hypoglycemia occurs due to the insulinema, which is a cancer of beta cells of pancreas which secrete insulin and other factors. And the gross increase in C-peptide indicates insulinoma. So that is about estimation of C-peptide. These are the my references. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.